Welcome, everybody. Um, this is Marini, and I'm here today to talk about the daily health system that um, Transform has um, not yet released to the public. Um, so our system is a um, fiber to glucose capsule, and it also is Activate, and Activate is activating your GLP-1, which is your gut hormone. And the two of those together are a game changer. So today I have Julie Gorman here and Julie is uh, agreed to come on and let me um, haphazardly interview her <laughs> and um, fill in kind of what she's been going through, why she started, and how things are going for her with the transform system. So Julie, um, tell us a little bit more about how these two things work together um, in order cool. to go ahead. Awesome. No, I this is like one of my favorite things. So for those of you that don't know me, uh, I am what they call a wellness coach, very passionate about health and wellness. And I'm also a culinary nutrition expert, which, which basically means I love the power of food and whole foods. And this is why I get excited about the system. So as Marini said, Trenant has come out with a product called Transform, which is a new to market product. There is no other bottle like this on the market that has these ingredients and a, an exclusive plant-based enzyme. And that plant-based enzyme converts glucose to uh, soluble fiber in your body. So what you do is you take a capsule of this before you eat, big glass of water and then it sits there and waits for your food and then as your food comes in it takes that glucose 50 to 90 percent of that glucose and converts it into a cellular fiber which in turn balances your blood sugars so i could spend the next 24 hours telling you about all the complications of unbalanced blood sugars but what i will leave you with is think fatigue tired post-meal cravings post-meal hunger poor sleep in this all and if you don't get this all fixed up the metabolic health markers then you're going to lead into cardiovascular disease kidney dysfunction liver function so balancing your blood sugar is super key and then the second product in the system is activate and so mary and i were actually talking about like how do the two actually work together because he activates a drink and it's so silly and it's exciting for me but it's still silly because it's a whole food drink that has um lemon verbena hibiscus and uh, blood orange. And then it has some B vitamins and it also has um, a little bit of L-arginine. And what this does is it helps activate your GLP-1 hormone. So it does not give you an artificial version of it. It does not stimulate it. What it does is actually get your hormone to do what it's supposed to do. And I'm gonna share in a moment what that looks like. So what these two do together is they're just from, if you wanna put it into something science-y, the two put together are synergistic. Again, we could go into all like the molecular pieces of it. I actually don't know why the two work together, but I'll tell you, one does not work without the other. They have to be together. And so I was gonna share with you the reason when they work together, it will ultimately change your relationship with food. But before I dive into that, Marini, did you wanna add anything to that? I do. So, um... First of all, before we go any further, that I mean, that was pretty explanatory, self-explanatory. Um, I wanted to know, did you start with Transform alone first and tell me how that worked for you before the Activate came on? Oh, I like that. Yeah, because that was the thing. The, the Transform came out just last fall in October of 2023. And right off the hop, we were seeing people having amazing results. And this is one thing I, I gave myself a little bit of trouble on this, you know, how you tend to kind of beat yourself up. We're our own worst critic. And after a couple of weeks, I was taking the transform before I was eating and I was noticing like zero reaction, zero. Uh, it was like, I was like, it's not doing a dang thing for me. And I thought this is so weird because I know my blood sugar is imbalanced. I have all the symptoms of insulin resistance. Um, I've always been told I have to watch my blood sugars. Otherwise I was going to become a diabetic thinking, why is this product not working of all the people? Why is this not working? And here's what I learned about six months later, I reflected because I started back on it in March 
And the reason I did is because I knew this mysterious product was coming. And everybody was saying, when you do the two together, it's going to be different. And when I reflected on what I had done in the fall that did not work is I allowed myself to eat whatever I wanted. I thought this was a license right. to eat whatever I wanted. And I don't feel alone because I talked to a couple other friends and they're like, oh my gosh, I did the same thing. So in March, I decided I have to give this another try because I'm still struggling. I'm still having the fatigue. I still have the brain fog. I'm not sleeping the best. Like something's got to change. All these other people are saying that they're they're seeing these, these results. So I'm like, okay. So I buckled down. And when I gave myself trouble, it's because I know better. I'm a culinary nutrition expert. I know how to balance a plate. I know what whole foods to eat. I know what kind of proteins and vegetables. Like I know all the things. I also love to cook. So it wasn't a question of not knowing how to do this stuff. So I made this decision in March because I'm sick and tired of feeling sick and tired. And I just started with one of them before lunch and one before my dinner. And then I made sure that I drank a whole bunch of water because you got to make sure you flush all that fiber through. And the first couple of weeks, I started to notice a shift. And the shift was actually, I'd lost some inflammation in my face. I started to notice that my clothes actually felt a little looser, but I wasn't, I hadn't lost any weight. And I was noticing that after meals, I was not having the same cravings. So that I had probably taken this for about four weeks before I introduced the, um, the activate. Okay. Well, I love that because I think, um, I felt the same way about a lot of those things that you said. So going forward, tell us why you started it. Why did you start, um, taking, you had already taken the transform. You were kind of getting some of the results that you wanted and activate was coming out. So tell me why you started this whole system in the first place. Tell me about how Julie worked before and after. Yep. Well, you know, there's two, there are two main reasons. Reason number one, which is the most important reason, like I said, I was sick and tired of feeling sick and tired. And the science was telling me this was working. My friends that were beta testers were saying this is working. They kept pumping up how exciting it was going to be. But most it wasn't just about me going, oh, I'm just sick and tired of feeling sick and tired. And I'm tired of being, you know, like with the fatigue and the overeating and beating myself up. That was a big part of it. But honestly, it's because I want to be present with my family. That's really, that's the number one reason. I want to be present with my family. My boys are uh, 24 and 19. They are going to go on to have families. I want to be um, that kind of grandma that's going around and doing things with her grandchildren. I want to be active with my husband. I want to be able to do all the things. And I watch some people that are in their mid fifties, late fifties, early sixties. I'm not quite 50 yet, but I watch some people and, and they're struggling and I don't want to be like that. The other reason I have embraced this is because this is a new to market product. And as a culinary nutrition expert, and, and even it doesn't even have to be, I know Marini gets this too, because these two together, when you balance your blood sugar and you stimulate that GLP one, what you're going to experience is a shift in your health and wellness. And there are so many people in North America alone that are struggling because well, often when I share my story, I have people go, me too, me too. Oh my gosh, you're living my life. What the heck's going on? Why are we all the same? Because not a lot of people are talking about it. You do hear your friends that are going, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Or, oh my gosh, I, you know, I, um, I can't seem to keep my face off food. What's going on? But when you really come together and you start sharing, it's like one in three or two in three North Americans are struggling with blood sugar imbalances. They're struggling with their metabolic health. And so when you hear that, and then you see something like this and you say to yourself, wow, not only could I be a product of the product, but I could share this with other people and show them how to be a product of the product. Because whether you want to earn a little bit of money or you want to earn a lot of money, the point is, is this is something that not only will people want, people need 
this. They need a plant-based whole food version of something that's going to sort of take them back to a baseline. Does that make sense? I think that's wonderful. It makes sense to me. I totally agree with you on that. Um, I think the one thing I heard you say was um, that people are beating themselves up and um, it's not their fault. And I think this is where, you know, so many, probably mostly women, I, I should not, you know, I should include men in that story, but I feel as though women um, have a tendency to think it's their fault and they beat themselves up and then they continue that vicious cycle of eating because it's emotional and it's, and it just goes forward and forward. So that being said is what are you enjoying about the system? Tell me, oh, tell me oh, when, when you just said to, <laughs> when you were talking about beating yourself up, because I know I'm not special. I would like to think I'm the only one that gives myself a hard time. I don't, I know we all do. It's very easy to do yet. We're the, we're supposed, we should be celebrating ourselves. And the thing that I'm enjoying the most is when I said earlier that it's changed my relationship with food, this is something I've never experienced. And I feel like I have done all the diets. I have done all the programs. I have, I even do a lot of mindset training uh, I really do work at believing in myself. So we all have those moments, those sessions where we kind of give ourselves a hard time, but I'm usually pretty good. I can flip myself back over. You got to have some of the lows so you can appreciate the highs. And I thought that my life with food was normal. I really can't remember not having challenges with food. So I automatically blamed my lack of willpower. Like I, I really just thought, okay, cause here's, here's where my challenges lied is I would have, when I talk about cravings, it was cravings for sugar or cravings for oh, yeah. something mm-hmm. sweet or cravings yeah. for salty or create, like it, it wasn't just one thing. It was like, I'd eat a meal and I literally, I, I would like do this, go, Hmm, what do I'm, I'm missing something. And I just thought it was because I had to have a complete meal or I hadn't, you know, gotten enough food in, or I would eat a fair sized meal. One of my, I've always said, I'm a portion girl. If I could just figure out how to eat less and I'm not a big believer in calories in and calories out. Cause I believe there's different kinds of calories with that being said, though, there is something to be said for calories in calories out. And if your calories are way up here and then you're not doing a lot, I mean, you're going, your body is not using all that energy. So I was just like, my willpower sucks. My, my ability to keep my face off food sucks. Um, I, like, and it, what, what happened is I would get these cravings to either get just a little bit more something to taste or eat more. Cause I wasn't, the tank wasn't quite full. So when I started with the activate, the very first thing that I noticed was energy. Like I just got this whole other level of energy. I'm sleeping better. I feel that I feel motivated to go out for a walk. So now that energy, you know, that that exercise level has come up. But what's happened is I'm not having the cravings. Like I'm not going, oh my gosh, I need something. In fact, like my family had, uh, for those of you in Canada, Dairy Queen has dilly bars. So my uh, oldest son and his Mm -hmm. girlfriend went out to Dairy Queen and my aunt is visiting here. And she was like, oh my gosh, haven't had a dilly bar in years. I'm like, give them some dilly bars. So they got my mom and my aunt some dilly bars. I have zero interest zero but the old julie would have been like well just one little dilly bar won't hurt or um on the um when my aunt came up we were stopped at a lovely little uh amish style restaurant a midnight style restaurant and they had fresh made apple fritters and honey dip donuts she bought six and there's seven of us so i was like automatically i'm out i don't need one well my other son didn't want one he's not a big donut kid And I'm like, I don't want it. Like, usually I'd be like, well, I'll take one for the team. We don't want to waste good food and money. And so what has happened is my relationship with food has changed. And here's the mind blowing part. It has not been 100% my fault. Have I been responsible for some of my actions? Absolutely. Could I have made different decisions? Absolutely. But I'll tell you, I have not realized how much our hormones, the hormones uh, that are in charge of your hunger, the hormones that are in charge of your fullness, the the hormones that are in charge of cravings, when they 
take when they kind of come to the forefront and they're not working properly, they literally will take over your brain. And it's like somebody gets a little joystick and they're like, I would go to the, I would go to my pantry and it was like, somebody took over my body and I'm opening up the doors and looking for the chips or the crackers or whatever sweet stuff or chewy, crunchy, salty, whatever I could get my hands on. And I actually didn't deep down, I didn't want it, but something took over my brain. And so that has been the biggest shift is this change in relationship. I'm not, my portions are smaller. I'm making more mindful choices. My food choices are better. It's all, it's surreal when I'm telling people, I just don't feel like eating it. And they look at me like, what do you mean? I can't walk past a piece of chocolate without popping it in my mouth. I'm like, I don't want it. And it's weird. Very, very, very weird. You know what? I I resonate with a lot of what you have said. I find I'm still trying to figure out that balance between eating just enough and then eating those few more mouthfuls and finding I'm uncomfortable because I am full. And I mean, so I think you, these are things that you learn as you're going forward. Um, but yes, I resonate with all that stuff. So I have like kind of a two-parter here. So my first one would be, what have your challenges been? And the second would be, if you could go back before you knew um, how things worked for you, would you change anything and why? Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Um, so first of all, I'll go back to what you just said, because one of the challenges I'm having right now, and it's not a terrible challenge, but it's interesting because I've been, be, as much as this has been a hormonal thing and shifting, there's still habits. It's kind of like smoking. So I quit smoking like 25 years ago and I had the similar experience where all of a sudden I just didn't want cigarettes anymore. I did use, um, a pharmaceutical product way back when some of you might remember it Zyban. I don't recommend pharmaceuticals for that, but that's what worked for me back then. Long story short, I just one day decided I didn't want cigarette anymore. Kind of like where I'm at right now with not wanting the, like wanting these sweets and treats and processed foods. And, but for years, months, if not years later, I would be in a situation like joining a friend for coffee. And I'd be like, I feel like I should have a, <laughs> cigarette in my hand or I get into the car and I wanted to I'm like oh I don't do that anymore or you would go to a party and you're like oh yeah oh I don't need to go out for a smoke break in fact that was kind of weird is people go for smoke breaks I was so used to I would actually go hang out with them still because I missed the people not the the smoking yeah so that's been my challenge is when I'm working say here in my office and then I go downstairs into the kitchen and I'm not hungry but my body's almost going, but don't you want to go to the pantry? That's what we used to do. And I'm like, no, we don't do that anymore. And they're like, oh, okay. And then you sit down, I like say to, to have a meal and I'm scooping out my portions and I'm like, you don't actually need that much. And your brain goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you sure you don't want to have an extra scoop of that pasta? Cause you might get hungry. And I'm like, I don't need it anymore, but let's put on some extra vegetables, shall we? Or, you know, um, and let's, or maybe let's have an apple afterwards just to kind of give your, yourself that little bit of extra boost. So that has been my challenge is breaking the habits um, or I'm going to share this one. It's listening to other people because they can't understand what I'm doing. So they're like, come on, have the cookie. Come on. No, come on. We're going to go eat and drink. Come on. You can have something extra. It's okay. You don't No, It's like, no, it's like smoking or doing drugs or um, alcohol. I'm kind of like on a, you know, like an AA program here. People don't, don't put me in situations that I don't, that I don't want, or don't give me that peer pressure. Right. And if I could change something in the beginning, it would be, it would be like at the very beginning. I wish I had, I wish I had embraced the transform because then I would have been just that much further. But yeah. with that being said, I also believe that in life, when you go through a challenge and you go through a moment where woulda, coulda, shoulda, wish I had, you know, wish I had done that that was, it happened for a reason because I needed to learn something. So I might not have actually been in this place and as accepting of this, if I hadn't sort of mucked it up at the beginning. I agree. I think I did the same thing. And I think it just forced me to kind of, um, you know, redirect and open myself to eating better and making better choices. And I think regardless of what you take, and this system is phenomenal, um, I think it takes time to adjust 
mm -hmm. going forward. It's not Absolutely. a, it's not a take the drink and take your pill and, and everything's beautiful with the world. It does take time for your mindset to kind of put it all in perspective and figure out how it's going to work for you. So mm -hmm. I'm still fluctuating with how much transform I'm taking. Um, I'm still doing activate twice a day, just was I'm trying to lose some weight. Um, and so, but I may play with that too. And that's the nice thing about this system. I really like it. Okay. So this has been awesome information, Julie. So my question to you, the final one is what would you tell somebody who's maybe looking at this system, but has not taken that step? Mm -hmm. Um, I love that question because it really, it pertains to almost everything in your life, whether you're looking to go forward in your career, in a family decision, uh, you know, or a health and wellness decision, any kind of decision, but it starts with a decision. And so I'll go back to what I said earlier is I made a decision. I was sick and tired of feeling sick and tired. And then I said, well, what can I do about that? What am I going to do? And so if you're sitting here listening and there's a, a shred of what I've shared and Marini has shared that resonates with you, this is a decision that will be life-changing. And I can give you, I'm going to say 100% guarantee, and this is why, because we're all on a journey. So like Marini said, it's about navigating. Will you follow the same path as Julie Gorman? Probably not. Will you follow the same path as Marini? No, not likely, because we're as many people there are in this world, that's how many different health plans and diets and such are. So the reason I say I can give you a 100% guarantee that this will change the direction in your health and wellness is because it is going to give you another 